I am Tommy Hebert. I represent single member district one, which is the largest geographical single member district in the city. I moved to San Angelo in 1957. Now I would tell you how old I was when I moved here, but everybody could then figure out my current age. Graduated from Texas A&M in 1975 with a degree in uh, engineering technology. Um, it, is, um, it is more of a business route to engineering than it is actual engineering, mechanical, electrical, uh, civil, something like that. I have spent my entire career in insurance sales, uh, life insurance, disability insurance, long-term care insurance, employee benefits. So I've done that for 45 plus years now. It's one of those things, it is a very intangible product that is sold, but when you see it in action and the good that it can do, there is a, a lot of uh, satisfaction uh, knowing that in many, if not most cases, you have helped someone when they really needed it. San Angelo, I have come to learn over the years of living here, is a giving community, and I would say a doing community. When a need arises, people are more than generous to give of their uh, monetary resources, of their time. Um, somebody uh, just needs help with something, I would say, of a physical nature, moving something, setting something up, um, and they can't do it themselves. Um, and if the word gets out, um, San Angelo will step up and help them do whatever needs to be done. And then uh, in times of need, Folks are more than, uh, more than generous to, to give of what they have to help other people. That's the reason I, I really like San Angelo. One of the most common threads, themes that you hear from people is the streets are in poor shape. It's true. We are obviously addressing that with, uh, with bond um, issues that we uh, do every other year. And uh, th to me, that is, that is satisfying because if you're going to get anywhere, you have to use the road. Um, so making those roads better um, is something that is important. Public safety, no doubt, is important. Um, you want the very best uh, in, in the equipment um, for your uh, first responders. Um, hopefully we are able to do that within our budget. Um, and, and then our uh, no doubt water is extremely important in West Texas. And we are, we are always looking for another reliable, uh, sustainable source of water. I think one of the, the uh, things that I am able to bring to council after uh, 11 and a half years is just experience. Sometimes the, the, the pace at which government is able to move is slower than what sometimes business is able to move. And having an understanding of the process and the pace at which it moves to me is helpful to not get too anxious or um, upset when it doesn't move as quickly as we hope that it would. And that again ties back to the experience. I, I have an understanding of, how, of how, it, how it works now. My hope is to look at a complaint as an opportunity to help. Um, it, it's one of those things I have learned over the uh, time I've served on, on council 
that many times people do need help, no doubt. They need an issue addressed. But many times, too, people just want to be heard, even though they may know you may not be able to do anything specifically with their problem or their issue, but if you will just simply listen to them, um, sometimes that is really what they wanted to begin with, is just to be heard um, and get something proverbially off their chest. Patience too, you, you, you got to have the patience because I, I rarely, rarely have ever felt attacked personally, even when someone is angry. It's the situation at which they're angry. I happen to be the one that is listening. And just to keep in mind, they're not attacking me. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the problem about which they are calling that has, has them upset or anxious or needy, and maybe and possibly needing help. So uh, looking at those as opportunities, um, uh, to be of help or just to be a listening ear uh, in some cases um, sometimes is, is, is what is needed. We're going to have a city council as long as we have a city government. So that's gonna, it's been around for a hundred plus years. It's going to be around for as long as the community is around. Someone has to do the job. Someone has to run for city council. Um, it is something, public service, um, I sense as a calling. Um, it's not for everyone. Uh, granted, some people are not going to do it. They wouldn't enjoy it. Um, it's just something that, that other people see as a calling. I see that as a calling. Um, it, 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 it gives you a sense of, of, it gives me a sense of community, of belonging to a community, of helping the community. Um, the, as I mentioned uh, earlier, the bigger picture things, um, I like to see something um, from the big picture and then you go to work and try to assemble the uh, necessary parts of that picture. Um, it's, I would say somewhat similar to putting together a crossword puzzle. You fit all the pieces together and then you see exactly what the puzzle um, is or was. Um, that's the way uh, I, I, I I would see city council, you, you begin to put the pieces together and then you can see the bigger picture and see the good, hopefully, that it accomplishes for the, for the community. Hopefully through listening to people, they can know that I care. Um, to me, to have people know that you care about their issue, their problem. Again, that can even be on a personal level. That can be on a business level. That can be on a city council level. But if they have the sense that I do care about what their issue is, if it is with respect to city council, that's what I would like um, to have, I would say, be a part of the way uh, people recall my service on the council is that I cared about them, I cared about their issue, um, and did the best I could to be of assistance.